So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I'm going to run through a case study um, for one of our clients, the gym group, about how we've actually used social media to, to actually leverage our, our existing SEO foothold, our, ex our existing success within Google and the other search engines to actually almost um, to add like another dimension within, within the ecosystem of, of search. For any of you who don't know, they're a low-cost contract um, budget gym chain. Um, slowly grown across the, uh, the UK, London, Manchester, and a few of the other major cities currently covered. Um, the real kind of USP for the gym group is that the whole joining process is online, so you don't need to walk down to your local um, gym or your local authority um, ledger centre, fill out lots of paperwork, um, fill out a, um, a, a monthly contract. And of course, it's open 24 hours. You've got these little pods that open up. Um, yeah, they're very kind of sci-fi. They're really cool. And currently running Budget Gym of the Year. Um, to give you a bit of context where they were and where they've come from to where they are now, um, we started off with five gyms in 2009, um, slowly growing, bigger foothold in the UK. Um, we're expected to go to 50 gyms this um, almost this time next year. Um, but if you can actually see the, the spike of traffic from 2011, which is approximately where the whole kind of surfing online switched to searching, that's where we really saw a growth in our internet traffic. And if you look at 2012, so you've got the, the merging of the, the SEO and the social. 2012, we expect a much higher jump in our Facebook fans as a result of the, um, the closer relationship that SEO and social have. So being completely online, with the exception of the bricks and mortar of the actual gym sites, um, SERP domination is, you know, that's, that's really the, the bread and butter of our, of our work. Um, we're pretty, we're pretty good. We're quite fortunate in the um, fact that any kind of location-based keyword that we're targeting, we're actually um, we're pretty solid on. Um, I don't know if you can see it from the back, but if you just put in a search Jim Brighton, um, we'll, we'll be top. Um, as you can see, it's pretty competitive. This is a really competitive market. Um, every penny is scrutinized, but um, we found that making sure that our organic listings are strong bringing the, the, the biggest traffic. Um, to give you a, a bit of an idea and context behind our member demographic, predominantly between the age of 18 and 34, huge student um, um, growth across the last couple of years, where we've particularly focused on um, cities with, with a large student um, foothold. The, the demographic, they're socially savvy and socially active. Active being the real kind of um, important thing here. They're not the older generation who may be joining social media far quicker than the younger um, generation, but they're, they're, they actually want to get involved. They do like um, commenting on posts and they do like retweeting and favoriting updates that you make. Heavy smartphone usage. Um, we've seen our mobile traffic in the last year increased by over 300%. And almost a third of our members have never been a member of a gym before. This is because either they've been priced out or they've, ne they've never been really kind of, um, a gym's never been accessible to them. So as far as having social media as a tool to be able to shape a particular experience for, for new gym members, it's a really powerful thing that we have at our disposal. And people of all cultures, ethnicities, and religions. Um, we generally are placed in areas where um, it's quite kind of impoverished, um, and so people of all, all places around the world. So, if we were to take a look at our actual insights data for our um, Facebook group, very similar to what we know our members are. Seventy-eight point six percent of our Facebook members are between the age of eighteen to thirty-four, which we would commonly expect. Um, this surprised us, us still. Um, it's roughly 50-50 between male and female members, but our, our Facebook fans are actually predominantly male, which does inevitably help us target particular content to them. Um, 
an average, this was looking over a, a year period, so August last year to August this year, um, average 202 members sign up via direct referral through Facebook, 80% of which is between 5 and 8 p.m. So once again, that helps us um, target particular updates.